the, the thing. Hello, Betsy. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, welcome to our Wednesday night tarot party. And I just want to share a couple of things. Uh, this is just a kind of a uh, uh, little announcement. Now, I do, you know, this is just everybody. I do record this. Uh, it will be posted in YouTube because it kind of uh, as a service, because often people miss this, but they still want to see it. Uh, so again, if you're participating, that means you've given your permission to appear. Okay. And if you, uh, let's put it this way. If you don't want to appear, then, you know, just turn off your camera. And again, I will only give readings to people who turn on their camera as well. Okay. Again, I want to, I want to respect Privacy for those who want to stay private, okay? All right. Uh, and, but everybody, you know, again, uh, if you want a reading, you have to turn on your camera. And, of course, you do accept that this is being recorded and will be put on YouTube, okay? Just so I will definitely understand. accept. <laughs> okay, good. I just want everybody to be aware of that. So again, welcome to our Wednesday night tarot party and love workshop, okay? And so who, who wants to go first? Who wants a quick little reading to get our started? Who wants a little love reading or a little, uh, a little reading? Me, 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 me. Okay, now Shay, you were saying that some aspects of the last reading actually came true. Is that true? Yes, yes, it did. We were talking about work at that time, okay. and I believe I have two opportunities, so we just got to close them. But yes, well, that's fantastic! Congratulations! Thank you. All right, thank and you. Of course, so uh, you know, uh, definitely, you know, for work and job, you want to definitely go to the Sunday workshop, okay? Okay, Sunday's about money and work, and you know, we really focus on that. But let's just shuffle the cards. And Shay, uh, this is basically about your love life at the moment. Okay. Is that all right? Oh boy. Couldn't be in the future, could it? <laughs> but yes, go ahead. <laughs> in the future. We're talking about future love prospects. Hopefully. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I do have some, we'll, we will be discussing exercises and things we can do to uh, Im improve the love uh, I I'm, I'm producing something called the Love Boat Relationship First Aid Kit. I don't know if anybody ah. received it. I have uh, sent it to people. I have actually sent it to people called the Love Boat Relationship First Aid Kit. And again, uh, it, it has a lot of tools. But let's let's just start with you, Shay. Okay. Perfect. Sending your thoughts and feelings to the cards, hopes and dreams about future love prospects. Thank you. Okay. And when your intuition tells you the cards are ready, say ready. I'll stop shuffling and we'll read the cards together. Okay. When yep. you feel the cards are ready, say ready. ready okay all right guiding a right hand as i cut the cards once twice and now three times i'm now going to pull nine cards Thank one you. two three four five Whoa. six seven eight and nine okay okay now, all right let's take a look see what the cards are saying okay Okay, so actually, uh, interesting first card, which was the uh, uh, the uh, High Priestess, which is all about your own spirituality, your own psychic ability, and your own intuition, okay? Yes. And uh, what that's all about is uh, using your psychic ability, using your intuition, I guess since we're talking about love, to kind of, uh, kind of, uh, uh, kind of discover opportunities or uh, 
you know, kind of uh, see the, you know, get at hidden influences, all right, in order to, uh, you know, find love in the right places. But you want to use your psychic ability mm-hmm. and your intuition in order to uh, kind of manifest love. So that's kind of an interesting first card. That all is right. awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And now we've got, okay, we noticed that in the past, okay, yep. there has been a kind of some disappointments in love. Is that correct? Yes. We got the Ten of Swords and the Five of Wands. So it was a struggle and strife yep. and, and some disappointment, misfortune, unhappiness. Yep. Okay. Uh, two of Swords is showing a period of peace and success. Yep. Coming to you soon, okay? I Hi. would say from the 23rd of February through to the 2nd of March. Okay. okay. There will be a time for peace, but also a time for healing and good fortune. Okay, so now we've got some interesting cards. Now, these are more, okay, money cards. Yeah, I did see that. <laughs> ka-ching, 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 all right? Mm-hmm. which is okay because let's face it love don't pay the rent does it <laughs> no okay all right so now we're talking about let's see here the page of pentacles now yep. the page of pentacles means good news about money coming to you soon especially sort of as we get past the 21st of february through to the 20th okay of march March. okay good news about money coming to you okay which is good ka-ching 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 thank you now the four pentacles is also talking about a windfall a lump sum a nice this could be even like a a short-term gig of some kind some kind of uh one-off kind of thing where you'd make a nice little lump sum this isn't necessarily money for the rest of your life this could be a a one night thing or a couple of day thing, you know, but you'd make some nice money coming to you. And again, from the 10th to the 19th, actually it's pretty, I would say from now till the 19th of February. Okay. Well, this is pretty good. This is more recent. This is coming up now till the 19th. There's an opportunity where you're going to make a nice little chunk of change. Okay. Thank and then you. we got the two of pentacles which is a good sign. It's talking about harmonious change. Yes. It means you're going through changes, but it's yes. also giving you a little piece of advice. Try to maintain balance. Try not to do too many things at once. Yes. All right. So it's saying try to maintain harmony and balance. Okay. Especially yes. between now and the 27th of February. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All in all, I would say good cards. Now we do, I, I take it you're looking for a, a, a prince or a king. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Here we go. The king of pentacles. Thank a you man very much. Money. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Handsome is nice, but rich and handsome is nicer, right? Yes, always. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. The king of pentacles. All right, is a a man who is successful. He owns property. He owns real estate. Okay. Uh, He's uh, successful. He's generous. He's responsible. He's reliable. Okay. All right. And uh, so there you go. I thank you very much. Okay. Anyway, so that looks pretty good. That's a pretty good uh, situation. Thank you. Okay. All righty. Uh, so now we're going to do a little exercise, a couple of little exercises uh, for love. Okay. As you know, I coach people. Uh, uh, I coach people. uh uh, on relationships, and I do provide something called the Love Boat Relationship First Aid Kit, which I'll send you after, after the after our our workshop. Okay, which is a series of Law of Attraction, and EFT Law of Attraction exercises to bring you love. Okay, 
And uh, the first one we're going to do is something called the Protective Shield of Golden Light, which is basically a general clearing of any kind of negative energy, negative, uh, negative situation, negative people, okay? Uh, and it, it's based on a 5,000-year-old uh, Tibetan mantra, okay? And... Uh, it's very easy. We're going to be doing the tapping. Who's everybody's done the tapping? Uh, you, you're all familiar with it. Okay. So we don't have to do EFT 101. So let's just start tapping and just tap where I tap 10 times and just repeat what I say. Say energy system. Okay. Very good. Now tap on the eyebrows. Say, I'm instructing you. I'm instructing you. Very good. Outside corner of the eye now. To generate, to generate a protective shield of golden light. A protection shield of golden light. Under the eye. All around my body. All around my body. Under the nose. Protecting me from all negative energies. Oh. Protecting me from all negative energies. Under the mouth. All negative influences. All negative influences. A collarbone. All negative intentions. All negative intentions. Under the arm now, uh, all negative entities, beings, or spirits. All negative entities, beings, or spirits. Okay. Karate chop, sending them all to the sun. All to the sun to be transmuted to love. Very good. Let's go top of the head, only allowing in. Eyebrow loving. Side of the eye healing. Under the eye positive. Under the nose energies. Under the mouth and intentions. Collarbone. And if I have any negative energies or intentions, okay, under the arm, I send them all to the sun. Karate chop now to be transmuted to love. Okay, now take a deep breath and I'll release. Okay, so that's a very powerful exercise. That's just to clear away negative energy, uh, negative uh, people, negative spells, spirits, forces, or what have you, okay? It's kind of, I call it an exorcism in a box. Okay, it's uh, very powerful, and it really works very nicely. Okay, so moving along, we're going to do another uh, exercise called the uh, Ho'oponopono. And this is good for anybody who's in a relationship, okay? Uh, also, if you're in a kind of problem situation, if you have a problem with somebody, if there's a, a negative kind of... Uh, uh, situation. It could be a love situation, could even be at work. Okay. Uh, it's great for reconciliation. It's also good for remote healing as well. So what you do is you can take a photograph or a picture of the person you have a problem with, put it in front of you or picture them in your mind's eye. Okay. And just start tapping the top of your head. Okay. And again, just repeat what I say. Tap or I tap 10 times and repeat what I say. Say, I'm sorry. Okay. Eyebrows now. Say, please forgive me. Okay. Outside corner of the eye. Say, I forgive you. Under the eye. Say, I forgive myself. Under the nose. Thank you. Under the mouth, I love you. Collarbone, I'm sorry. Under the arm, please forgive me. Karate chop, say, I forgive you. Top of the head, say, I forgive myself. Crowd, say, thank you. Guys. I love you. For the eye, I'm sorry. 
Under the nose, please forgive me. Under the mouth, I forgive you. Collarbone, I forgive myself. Under the arm, thank you. Body chop, I love you. Okay, now take a deep breath. And release. Okay, now that's great if, you know, very often people in relationships, you know, couples have lovers quarrels or, you know, it's quite normal. It happens. But the, I don't know if you, any of you ever heard of the 24 hour rule. You've got to kiss and make up within 24 hours. This, doing this, doing Ho'oponopono will definitely help you in a, in that situation. Okay. And if you can get, if both of you can do Ho'oponopono together, then you get a really powerful reconciliation. Okay. Okay, let's move along. Who would like, uh, let's see, who's next? Who'd like to have a, a little love reading? Who's next? Uh, Betsy or Debbie? You guys are on mute, so that's okay, but I can't hear you. So, all right. Okay. I got a Don Bird issue going on tonight. I beg your pardon? The dogs and the bird, the bird and the dogs want to talk tonight. Okay, let's shuffle the cards. Okay. Hello, Rana. Welcome. I just want uh, a little notice just so you know. All right. Uh, this is being recorded because people ask me for recording. So uh, I have your permission to be on, right? You're okay with being on. If you don't want to be on, just turn off the camera and uh, there you go. Okay. But uh, if you, like I said, this is because people ask me, oh, I missed the, sh I missed a Wednesday. Can I see the recording? And, you know, why not? All right. So let's shuffle the cards for Debbie. Okay. Shuffling the cards, sending your thoughts and feelings to the cards, your hopes and dreams, concerns and challenges to the cards. And when your intuition tells you the cards are ready, say ready, I'll stop shuffling. I will read the cards together. Ready. All right, guiding my right hand with your psychic energy as I cut the cards once, twice, and now three times. And now I'm going to pull nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, we got nine cards here. And let's take a look, see. Okay, so one of the first cards that came out was the star card, which is all about, which is ruled by Aquarius. It's kind of a nice card. It's kind of an interesting card because it is about hope and inspiration, okay, and good things coming. But it's also a reminder to take good care of your health, to watch your health, okay? Uh, and especially, you know, the, the, the virus is still around. The vaccine hasn't really appeared yet, you know, uh, so you really need to protect your health and take care of the health of yourself and your loved ones. OK, so that's an important card, especially nowadays. OK, so let's see what else is going on here. OK, well, look at this. Four of Wands. Four of Wands is the Lord of Romance, Venus and Aries. Mm, mushy, squishy. It's talking about love and romance, partnership, peace, harmony, comfort, and luxury from the 11th to the 20th of February. So there's potential for romance, okay? Uh, as again, when I say potential, doesn't mean it's guaranteed. It just means, you know, your path may cross with the right person. And of course, what you do then is up to you, okay? All right, next card is a judgment card, which is saying an, an awakening, an awareness, an insight, a new chapter in your life. So there may be a new chapter. Ooh, okay. And the emperor is saying, believe in yourself, have self-confidence, be strong, take initiative. You know, uh, I know ladies like to be ladies, right? But I think it's also, you know, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do to get what she wants, right? I mean, you know, the, you know, the classic thing is, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you know this, girls know this, the girl always makes the first move, 
She just lets the guy think he made the move. But the truth is, the girl always made the first move, right? I mean, you're still a lady and you're still, you know, proper and correct. But you know what I mean, okay? Six of Wands shows victory and success in March from the 2nd to the 11th of March. So there you go. Looks pretty good. Empress is talking about uh, abundance, wealth, and success coming to you, plus love coming to you on uh, coming to you on Friday. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, so Friday is going to be a good day for love as well. Okay. Friday is going to be a good day for love and wealth and abundance. Hi there, Betsy. Welcome. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Just as just a little note for everybody. Again, uh, this is being recorded and your participation shows your agreement uh, mm -hmm. to, to the recording. I record this as a, uh, you know, a favor to other of uh, my other friends who missed mm -hmm. tonight's workshop. But again, if you don't want to be recorded, don't turn off the camera. What can I say? Okay. All right, let's, mm -hmm. let's move along. We've mm -hmm. got the full card. This is we're doing Debbie's cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see here. We've got the full card, which means a new opportunity, a new path, a new adventure, a new relationship. Uh, okay. <laughs> So all in all, very positive cards saying definitely looks like love is showing up soon. Okay. Well, I don't know about the abundance because I was going to have a client on Friday and they called to cancel another well, one. Well, you know, you know, there's, there's other clients out there, you know, when one door closes, another one opens. I know, but it's been happening too much the last two weeks. Well, maybe we should do some more, do some more tapping. We'll do some more tapping for good luck. Okay. All righty. Well, at least these cards were pretty good. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, definitely uh, something to consider. Okay. So we, uh, let's do another love tap. Okay. Hi there, Rana. Welcome. Blessings. All right. We're going to do the love tap. All right. The love magnet. Now, this is absolutely guaranteed that if you do this exercise, it will start raining men, okay, or women or whatever it is you like, okay? Uh, do you guys remember the song, It's Raining Men? Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So, basically, what you do is you make a list. Now, let me ask another question. Is anybody on tonight in a relationship, has a partner? No, okay, you're all shopping, right? Every all the ladies are shopping. Okay. Well, this is absolutely guaranteed reigning men. And what you do is you make a list, okay? You know, and again, you know, I'm not saying you make a, you know, uh, of your of your past heartthrobs, your past bows, okay? All right, whether it's a high school sweetheart or, you know, uh ex, uh, spouse, boyfriend, lover, whatever. Okay, make a list, particularly, obviously, the ones that you still have fond memories of, okay? All right? And what we do is you, you think of that, you, you kind of conjure up in your mind's eye the picture of how good it was, the good old days, you know, with a, you know, boyfriend, uh, uh, Bo, that you actually loved and how he, he loved you and how good it felt, okay? And then we'll do the gratitude tap, okay? And so... Uh, what we'll do is we'll go around the room and each one of you is invited to share the initials because we want to keep it anonymous, right? Private. Uh, share the initials of a past bow. All right. And then we'll all tap on it together to kind of activate the law of attraction because nothing activates law of attraction faster, more better, faster than gratitude. Have you ever heard the old expression, put some gratitude in your attitude? You ever heard that expression? Right. Okay. So who'd like to share the initials of a past heartthrob? Somebody you have, you still have fond memories of when you think about them. Okay. Shay, what's the initials, please? Turn on the, you need to unmute. 
Got it. I wasn't sure if um, Patsy wanted to go first. Oh, C. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I want again. I want you. To, so let's again. Everybody connect with a past heartthrob, a past love. Okay, and just connecting. Imagine them in your mind's eye. All right. And again, tap ten times each uh, tapping point, top of the head. And now say those two magic words that activate law of attraction. Say thank you. And you can unmute if you want. It's nice that I have a chorus. So if you want to unmute, it doesn't matter. All right, tapping on the eyebrows, connecting with feelings of love and being loved and how good it felt. And we're talking about C, okay, and whoever yours is, okay? And again, say those magic words, thank you. Tapping on the outside corner of the eye, connecting with feeling loved and being loved and how good it was. Lovey-dovey, mushy-squishy, okay? Lovey-dovey, say thank you. Tapping under the eyes, connecting with feeling loved and by... C or whoever, say thank you. Under the nose, connecting with that loving feeling. Remember that song, that loving feeling. Thank you. The mouth, connecting with feeling loved and being loving and loved and beloved. Say thank you. Collarbone, connecting with feeling loved, being loved and loving. Say thank you. Under the arm, connecting with feeling loved and beloved, say thank you. And now tapping on the karate chop side of the hand. Okay, say those two magic words. Activates law of attraction. Say thank you. Okay, very good. Take a deep breath. And I'll release. Okay. And now who else would like go on? Shay, uh, pass, pass flame there, pass flame. Uh, Jay. Jay, okay, top of the head. Connecting with that loving feeling, how good it felt being loved by Jay. Okay, say thank you. Tapping on the eyebrows, connecting, feeling loved, how good it was, how good it felt, loving and being loved by Jay. Say thank you. Outside corner of the eye, connecting with being loved by Jay. Loving and being loved by Jay, say thank you. Under the eye, connecting with that loving feeling, being grateful for loving and being loved, say thank you. Under the nose, connecting with feeling loved and being loved by Jay, say thank you. Under the mouth, loving and being loved, thank you. Tapping on the collarbone, loving and being loved, say thank you. Under the arm, loving and being loved by Jay, say thank you. Okay, karate chop, connecting with that loving feeling, how good it was, the good old days, loving and being loved by Jay, say thank you. Okay, very good. Now take a deep breath and I'll release. Okay. There we go. Uh, you may notice a kind of a, a kind of a shift. You may notice a tingling, a kind of a body rush. That's normal. That's what's supposed to happen. That's your energy system rebalancing. Well, what's also happening is you're recalling that love energy and you're bringing that love energy to the surface and you're sending it out to the universe. And this is this is like this is what. This is what attracts like bees to honey, honey to bees, okay? When you send out that positive love energy to the universe, it's going to attract love back, okay? So this is how this really works. Okay, Betsy, uh, uh, do you have a past flame, a past love? Yes, I do. Okay, initial please. D. Okay, top of the head. Okay. Connecting with how good it felt being loved by D, being in love with D, the good old days. And I'll say those two magic words. Say thank you. Thank you. Very good. Connecting with loving D, being loved by D, how good it felt, how grateful you are, and how it makes you all feel warm and fuzzy. Say thank you. Thank you. Outside corner of the eye. Connecting with loving D, being loved by D, how good it felt, the good old days. 
I you'd like to meet more guys like Dee, right? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I, mean, mm -hmm. I connect with being loved by D, loving D, and asking the universe to send you more guys like D, right? Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Under the nose, connecting with loving D, being loved by D, and how good it felt. Say thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, connecting with that loving feeling, being loved by D, how good it felt, the good old days, and how you want more guys like him. Thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, connecting with that loving feeling. And guys, you can tap along too. It helps create, uh, helps the energy as well. So thank you. Thank you. Under the arm. Thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Thank you. Take a deep breath and now release. Okay. I absolutely guarantee you, if you do this exercise once a day, okay, for the next 10, 15, 20 days, you'll start to see men popping out of the sidewalk. You'll start raining men. I guarantee you what it is. Have you ever, oh, it was a beautiful cat. Oh, there's. How's uh, that for a beautiful cat? I love that. That's a lovely cat. Is that like a Siamese? Chocolate point. Chocolate point. Oh, that's not a beautiful cat. Seal well, tip, but you're close. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, here you are. The cat is pretty. Yeah. Thank you. It's oh. almost his bedtime, so he's getting attention. Sorry. Oh, that is so cute. Well, of course, they, whenever they see us doing something, they want to be part of it. My guy's mm -hmm. sitting right here. He's actually out of the camera. Usually oh, he'll, okay. stay, he'll stay right in front of the camera. Here he is. Here he oh, goes. where is he? Oh, my God. Oh, oh I see is. him. There you go, buddy. Oh, he's cute. There you go. Cat he's is a, pretty. He's a, he's, a, he's a nice guy. <laughs> he, he like, he, he's got his own. I actually have a little bed for him on the table. So oh, that's nice. So oh, that's cute. On the table. But he'll also pick the cards. Wow. That's interesting. I got pictures of him pick, picking the cards. Picking the cards. That's cute. <laughs> and he has a special on. He'll give you a 10-minute reading for a can of bumblebee tuna. Bumblebee tuna. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> okay. So who's next? Who, who's, who, who's got a waiting for a reading? Did you get a reading? Okay, Betsy. Absolutely. Yeah. We got Rana, too. Okay, awesome. All right, so Betsy, mm -hmm. let's shuffle the cards. Now, okay. again, as I said, uh, I'll be sending you all the Love Boat Relationship First Aid Kit. Mm -hmm. And in that is this tool, the Love Magnet. Now, the, mm -hmm. it, there's two ways to do the Love Magnet. The Love Magnet, number one, is if you're shopping, mm -hmm. looking for new love. Mm -hmm. okay. and uh, But if you're in a relationship, there's another way to do it as well has the same effect it'll make if you're in a relationship and you have a boyfriend or a partner husband whatever this will make him even better okay but the uh, if you're shopping this will this will send out positive love energy okay it's kind of like have you ever noticed that there are just some women who aren't necessarily you know runway models but for some reason the men are just all over them. Have you ever noticed that? And they're not I, necessarily- I have, I've noticed that, yeah. They're I've not necessarily that. a hottie or gorgeous, but they're putting out an energy that mm -hmm. is like honey to be the guys, you know, give me a baby. You know, uh, <laughs> and, and it's the, but it, it's because they naturally or unconsciously, you know, project <laughs> love energy, okay? And, it, you know, and, and that's what, you know, so that's what this does. It, it, uh, uh, you recall the love energy from the past mm -hmm. and you bring it up to the surface and using the tapping amplifies it and sends it out. Okay. okay? And so this is how it works. I mean, it, it's sort of like being a, a radio broad, a radio channel or radio mm -hmm. program. You know, do you guys ever remember WKRP? I used to watch that show a lot. It was a scream, right? But yeah, I, mean, I used to see know, that show. But if you send out WKRP, you're uh -huh. going to get a WKRP listener. 
Yeah, if I you understand. Spell out w L U V. Okay, you're going to get a W L U V listener. Mm -hmm. You get my point. <laughs> if you send out negative energy, ah, all men are pigs and nobody loves me, and yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to get a pretty negative kind of guy. You're going to get pigs. <laughs> you're going to get a pig, exactly. Pigs. Yeah. You know, on the other hand, if you're positive and you go, I love guys, I had a wonderful boyfriend, and I love to love buddy you know i mean you know you're sending out that kind of energy you're going to get a positive guy who wants who likes love you know mm -hmm. so that's just the uh you know that's the way it works it absolutely works i guarantee you you know okay I've done experiments i've sat in a room uh-huh full of women okay and i did you know i i thought about an ex-girlfriend who i still love you know and I did tap, 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 tap. And the next thing I know, all these women started sitting down next to me. Now, I'm not Brad Pitt, right? You know what I mean? I know that. And I'm an old fart. But they like, the women like the energy. The positive they energy you're sending. Mm -hmm. They felt comfortable. They felt mm -hmm. happy or safe. Then what I did just to experiment, I started going, yeah, that light sucks. And they all got up and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, serious man. you send negative yeah. energy <laughs> exactly you know and uh, yeah. so anyway i i strongly recommend this exercise mm -hmm. the, like i said and i'll be sending it out to you after the reading after the the session okay mm -hmm. okay all righty so has everybody <laughs> had their cards yet betsy have you had your cards yet no okay betsy and then rana you want a reading as well okay excellent all but right, the so other Betsy hasn't either. So both ah, both Betsy haven't had a reading yet. Oh, there's two Betsy's. Okay. Yes. yes. That's why I'm getting confusing. Like which, which, which oh, Betsy nice. goes? That's highly which, unusual. <laughs> which Betsy goes first? Which Betsy goes first? Who are? Okay, Betsy C. Okay, Betsy. All right, let's shuffle the cards. And I take it you're shopping as well. Is that correct? Yep. yep. Okay, let's shuffle the cards. Let's see what the universe as for you okay oh as i shuffle the cards i want you to send your thoughts and feelings your hopes and dreams concerns and challenges to the cards and when your intuition tells you the cards are ready say ready i'll stop shuffling and we'll read the cards together okay ready all right very good now guiding my right hand as i cut the cards into three stacks once twice and now three times. All right. I pull nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We got nine cards here. Okay. All right. Well, the first card that came out is the uh, Page of Cups. And that's all about being diplomatic and savvy and political and careful what we say, okay? And what that means is, you know, uh, I would say loose lips sink ships also means often, you know, with certain people, especially strangers, just be careful what you say. It doesn't mean you have to be a doormat, okay, or a yes person, but, you, you know, it's, it's often a good idea with strangers just to be diplomatic, be kind of savvy, you know, uh, first impressions, all that kind of stuff. Okay. All right. So let's move along. Okay. Six of wands, victory, victory and success, Jupiter and Leo. All right. So I guess from the 2nd to the 11th of March. Okay. So victory and success in love. Mushy, squishy, lovey-dovey. Ace of Cups is saying love will be coming to you second week in March. Whoa. Okay. Now, there has been a little bit of confusion, okay, around love. I've got here a couple of cards. Now, whether, I mean, there's been some confusion. There's been some disappointment, okay? The moon card usually means, this is kind of the crazy card, means there's been some confusion there's been some disappointments uh there's been a struggle in the love department okay 
but you, you know, the secret is persist. You know, one of the secrets of success, 99% of success is persistence, not giving up. Okay. Also, it's about shopping in the right place. Don't go shopping for love at Goodwill or the Salvation Army. You, know I mean? you want to shop for men at a quality store. You know what I mean? You know, if you go out shopping for a dress, you know, uh, and you know, what you do is you try on different dresses or outfits, right? And let's face it, you don't buy a dress that doesn't work for you, do you? You don't buy a dress that doesn't fit or the wrong color or the wrong. You buy one that, well, the same with dating. You know, you don't, you don't, you know, you don't keep a man who doesn't fit. You know what I mean? Uh, anyway, you're kind of reevaluating the love department. Okay. You're kind of in a, in a position of reevaluation, thinking things through, uh, you're a little disgruntled, a little bit disappointed, but you're kind of thinking it through. Uh, one of the things I'll be uh, will be doing next, okay, will be the what I call the the vision tap or the love vision, okay, uh, which will help you with that. Also, the best way to meet men are your friends, your girlfriends. Because most women have a cousin or a brother. <laughs> and they're not going to hook you up with a clown. They're your friends. You know what I'm saying? And everybody loves to be the matchmaker. And I would say if this, you know, the best way to meet somebody is through friends because there's a kind of social control. If you meet a guy through a friend, he's probably not going to misbehave. Right, right. He's going to get social pressure, you know, and especially if he if he meets you through through a male member of your family, you know, a brother or a cousin, you know, especially if he's, you know, six foot four and a linebacker, you know, the guy's going to behave. Right. Uh, so but it's interesting. There are two women friends. who are probably going to help you hook up. OK, cool. Talk to your girlfriends about, you know any guys they know you gotta you gotta send out your spies right you know okay now this is probably the what i'm going to teach you right now is the real the real deal this is really important i think a lot of people make the mistake of dating by accident mm -hmm. rather than dating on purpose they meet a guy he looks cute he sent you know first impressions but they don't, you know, without any idea what they really want from a guy or what kind of guy, you know, uh, or even what kind of relationship they want. You know, I, I think a lot of people, and I mean, I'm, I'm guilty of this too, you know, if she's breathing and above ground and I'm not afraid to be seen in broad daylight with her, I'll date her. Well, that's the worst reason to date anybody, right? You know? Uh, you, 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 you know, you really have to have some standards and criteria. Let's face it. When you're hooking up with somebody, you're getting into a relationship could lead to marriage, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, that's a pretty serious involvement. That's like, you know, especially if you get married, that's like a business. So you're looking for a serious quality partner and you, you need to have standards because just winging it. You know, that's like going to a casino and expecting to win. You know what I mean? You know, and gambling doesn't work with love. You know what, they, you know what I mean? Uh, so, you know, the best thing you can do is I always tell, if, you know, if you're serious about getting a partner, treat it like a serious project. Don't date by accident. Get a notebook, get a diary, okay? Or get a daily journal. Uh, when you guys were younger, did you all have a little diary? Did you have a diary? No? Okay. You did. You did, Betsy. Okay. Okay. Get a, get a $3, get a $3 student spiral notebook. I'm serious. And start keeping notes. You want to make a gratitude list, like I said, but you also want to start writing down your goals with love. You want to have your love goals. And one of the goals is I will be in a relationship by X, Y, you know, having a goal. Because if you don't make a goal, it's not going to happen. 
The universe responds to your intention. And if you're just kind of winging it and you're going, well, if I meet somebody nice, then I'll fall in love. Well, guess what? That's a long wait. All right. You have to set the intention. I'm going to meet somebody and I'm going to meet the right guy and I'm going to have a relationship and set a goal, you know, May, June, July, August, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Set a goal. Next thing, and this is the important part, okay, exactly the kind of guy you want or partner you want, all right? Like when you go shopping, do you guys make lists? Do you make a list of what you're going to buy when you go shopping? Same thing with a guy. Okay? You got to, you know, you, you want to be able to, you want to recognize them when you see them. So you write down, okay, physical attributes, okay, you know, basically the kind of the type of guy you like, you know, what I call dating website level, which is pretty superficial, okay? But, you know, uh, age, uh, ethnicity, uh, language, education, income, location, et cetera, okay? So you want to write that down. More importantly, character and values. You don't want to get stuck with a loser. You don't want to get stuck with somebody who's got problems. So put down the values and the kind of character and personality that's important to you, that you want, right? And then also exactly the kind of relationship you want. Do you want to just be dating casually? Do you want to be lovers? Do you want to get married? Do you want to have an open relationship? I mean, you know, exactly the kind of relationship you want. Right. <laughs> Once you have that picture of the of what you want, you're going to recognize guys who fit that criteria. Okay, and don't be afraid to say next. Don't be afraid to say later, or don't be afraid to say what they say in Hollywood. Don't call us; we'll call you. Right. Don't be afraid. There's 4 billion men on planet Earth. There's plenty to go around, and you can afford to say no if he doesn't fit your checklist, right? All right, so let's take this out for a test drive, okay? Uh, we're going to do the EFT tapping, and what I want you guys to do... Don't is, forget my reading. I didn't get a reading. You're going to get a reading, but I'm mixing the readings with the teaching as well, Okay. We still have time. I'm not going to forget. Betsy, you're one of my regulars. I'd never forget you. Okay. Thank you. All right. But I, I want to, you know, I want to mix the teaching and the coaching with the readings. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, I will, this is important because this meditation, you're mm -hmm. kind of shopping, right, Betsy? Yes, I am. Yes. Okay. I'm going to tell you a little story. Mm -hmm. I did this meditation about five years ago. And within an hour after doing this meditation, I got a call from a woman who said, you know, I met you about six months ago and I can't get you out of my mind. I think you're a really cool guy. I'd really like to hook up with you. You ready for this? She was calling me from Santa Fe and I'm in Woodstock, New York. Oh my God. Wow. And she drove across country to come and stay with me. Well, what a sacrifice she made to come see you. Well, I think it was the tapping. The tapping you did. Mm -hmm. I'm, gotcha. I'm serious. So be careful what you ask for. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Now, it didn't, let's put it this way. It, it wasn't the love of my life and the love of her life, but mm -hmm. we had a nice time. Okay. So that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. But be okay. careful what you ask for. Mm -hmm. That's why you want to be clear about this. So what okay. we're going to do is we're going to tap on our karate chops. And ladies, close your eyes and imagine your perfect partner. Just imagine exactly what he's like. I'm assuming guys right now, but, you know, if it's something else, that's okay. But imagine your perfect partner, okay, what they're like physically, okay, what they're like uh, in terms of career, education, income, ethnicity, your perfect kind of guy, okay? And now also their character, the values and aspects of character that you admire in a guy 
that you really want, okay? And also exactly the kind of relationship you want while tapping, imagine that. And imagine yourself meeting the right guy, having a really wonderful relationship and it all working out one step at a time, okay? And when you're done, say done. So I know you're ready to do, we we'll go to the next level, okay? Done. Done, okay. Well, I'm having such a good time with my movie. I don't know if I want to end it, but anyway. <laughs> All right. So now, just, re just repeat after me, tapping on the karate chop, say, even though I have my perfect partner movie. Even though I have my perfect partner movie. I choose to allow the universe. I choose to allow the universe. To manifest my perfect partner. Manifest my perfect partner. In the best possible way. In the best possible way. And for the greatest good. For the greatest good. And I align myself with the universe. And I align myself with the universe. So this can come to pass. This can come to pass. Very good. So we're going to do this two more times. So even though I have my perfect partner movie. Even though I have my perfect partner movie. Today, I set a firm intention. Today, I set a firm intention. To allow the universe. To allow the universe. To manifest my perfect partner. To manifest my perfect partner. In the best possible way. To the best possible way. And for the greatest good. For the greatest good. And I align myself with the universe. And I align myself with the universe. So this can come to pass. This can come to pass. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply and completely. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Love, accept, and forgiveness myself. We'll do it one more time. So even though I have my perfect partner movie. Even though I have my perfect partner movie. Today, I set a firm intention. Today, I set a firm intention. To allow the universe. To allow the universe. To manifest my perfect partner. To manifest my perfect partner. In the best possible way. In the best possible way. And for the greatest good. For the greatest good. And I align myself with the universe. And I align myself with the universe. So this can come to pass. This to come come to pass. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply and completely. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Love and accept and forgive myself. Okay, top of the head. I choose to allow the universe. I choose to allow the universe. To manifest my perfect partner. To manifest my perfect partner. Hi, bro. I deserve to allow the universe. I deserve to allow the universe. To manifest my perfect partner. To manifest my perfect partner. I, I give myself permission to allow I, the universe. I give, I give myself permission to allow the universe. To manifest my perfect partner. Manifest my perfect partner. It's safe for me to allow the universe. It's safe for me to allow the universe. To manifest my perfect partner. Manifest my perfect partner. I have the power to allow the universe. I have the power to allow the universe. To manifest my perfect partner. Manifest my perfect partner. I am willing to allow the universe. I'm willing to allow the universe. To manifest my perfect partner. Manifest my perfect partner. All about. I like the way it feels. I like the way it feels. When I allow the universe. When I allow the universe. Manifest my perfect partner. Manifest my perfect partner. The arm. It's easy for me to allow the universe. It's easy for allow for me the universe. To manifest my perfect partner. Manifest my perfect partner. Karate chop. Today I set a firm intention. Today I set a firm intention. To allow the universe. To allow the universe. To manifest my perfect partner. To manifest my perfect partner. In the best possible way. In the best possible way. And for the greatest good. And for the greatest good. And I align myself with the universe. And I align myself with the universe. So this can come to pass. This can come to pass. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply and completely. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Okay, take a deep breath. And I'll release. Okay, how does that feel? It was relaxing. Yeah, it's relaxing. It's very sure. relaxing, it feels. Yep. Excellent. Well, mm -hmm. again, uh, doing this, if you do this exercise, mm -hmm. okay, 
I mean, let's put it this way. The more, better, faster you do this, if you do this once a day, mm -hmm. as this and the love magnet, okay. you're going to start seeing candidates. Oh, nice. Good like candidates. <laughs> love candidates. The perfect Good partner. candidates. Yeah. You know, and again, you know, they're going to start appearing. Now, you don't have to date all of them, but what I suggest you do, treat okay. it like a horse race. A horse race, okay. Be the best, best horse. man win. <laughs> okay. You know, because say you, see, and, and, I, and I say don't fall in love. That's the other mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Don't fall in love. You're interviewing men mm -hmm. for the job of your partner. Mm -hmm. And so you have to keep your head on your shoulders. Right, right. There's plenty of time for chocolates and candlelit dinners and walks along the beach with the right guy. But first, you have to pick him. And mm -hmm. to pick the right guy, you have to interview him. Right. Like a job interview. You have to interview the people. And the one that qualifies the most, that's the one you hire. So the same thing goes when you're shopping for a man. The perfect mm -hmm. guy that's for you. Let's put it, when you go shopping... And mm -hmm. you're, you know, say you're, you know, you're checking out the 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 melons or the fruit, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, you know, you you don't pick the rotten apple, do you? No, I don't. No, you don't buy the rotten apple, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> you buy the good ones, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so again, don't fall in love. Don't get hot and heavy. Mm -hmm. Go on coffee dates. Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to get your head, twi you know, turned. Or no. You don't want no. a romantic dinner. You don't want to be drinking wine or anything. You want to be completely, mm -mm. because that's how you spot the lies. Mm -hmm. That is so because true. You know, if you've had a little bit of wine and it's romantic, candlelight, restaurant, mm -hmm. blah, 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 you're not going to be thinking clearly. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But if it's broad daylight and you've had a cup of coffee, <laughs> you're awake at the wheel, right? <laughs> right. True. All right. So you'll you'll you know you have you you know you look and listen by lot body language. If the guy can't look at you in the eyes, you know what I mean. If mm -hmm. he sounds kind of crazy, you know. And again, the thing about red flags, they don't get better. They get worse. They get worse. So if there's a red worse. flag, you just say, thank you. I got to go now. Bye. <laughs> you know I, mean? I would say that I got to go. Bye. Something came up. I got to go. I and will leave. Another mm -hmm. Pay for mm -hmm. your own coffee. <laughs> yeah. Sarah. I'll say thank you. And then I leave. <laughs> exactly. Pay for your own coffee. Okay. So yeah. who's next now? Is it you? Betsy? Me. Who's next? Yeah, it was me. Can, Can I do it? Can Betsy? I do it? Oh. Who? Rana? Okay. Well, Betsy and then Rana, okay? Rana, yeah. Because Betsy was here before you, all right? I'm taking everybody in turn. Just hang out. Don't worry. Everybody gets a gets I a actually have food. to go. I just right, wanted to say goodbye. Thank you. It was great meeting you, ladies. Yeah. Well, Thank you so much. Take Bye. care and stay here. And come back on Sunday for money. I will. Thank you so much. All have right. a good one. Nice meeting you. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. Take care. Dear. Okay, so we're doing Betsy and then uh, then Rana, okay? All right, Betsy, let's shuffle the cards. Sending thoughts and feelings, hopes and dreams, concerns and challenges to the cards about love, okay? And when you feel the cards are ready, say, ready, I'll stop shuffling. Okay, ready, and I'll ready. stop shuffling. Beautiful. Guiding my right hand as I cut the cards once, mm -hmm. twice, three times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Well, you've had some disappointments and some obstacles in the love department, which we know. That's we already know who that is that disappointed me a great deal, which is my ex-boyfriend, Carlos. I know. That's not good. Anyway, here's interesting. A choice or a decision about love. Wow. From, I would say, in May, from the 21st of May to the 20th of June. And it means a decision between two options. Two options you, regarding two different guys? Yes. You'll have a quality problem. You'll be having to make up your mind between really? two guys. That's why you don't want to get one-itis. No. 
you can still casually date two guys, right? Right. Casually, just casually, exactly. So yeah. What, what Uncle TG is saying, Uncle Tony's saying, don't fall in love. In love. Mm -hmm. I got so, that. Yes. Okay. Treat it like a horse race. Right. And don't get too enmeshed. Don't fall in love. Don't get too intimate. You know, oh, no. I don't fun. want to deal with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Safety in numbers. You know, go out on double dates. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Go out with a yeah, girl. Double dates, okay. Oh, not only that, if you go out or with other, with your girlfriends, they'll be checking him out too, and they'll give you their opinion. Of feedback of, of, of what the guy is, if they see any red flags with that guy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So Do you know the occupations, what the occupations are going to no, be? Am I going to meet them in person or how this is going to work? No, at, the, at this moment right now, it's just saying a mm -hmm. choice or decision between okay. two loves. Two loves, okay. okay. Change transformation means you're going through some changes in transformation. Okay. From the 23rd of uh, February through to the 22nd of, uh, of March, major okay. change. So you're going through a process of change and awareness. So it's a time for new ideas, new beginnings, a new you. A mm -hmm. Yes, that's a true. That one is true. Time yes. Everybody, all the girls love a makeover. Time for a makeover. Yes. That's right. Okay. Time for a new me. <laughs> exactly. And the charity mm -hmm. is saying, move through your fears and doubts. And this is about okay. your own Mm -hmm. self-esteem belief in yourself faith in right. yourself self-confidence mm -hmm. move okay. through your fears and doubts in order to embrace success so okay. a lot of this has to do with your own self-esteem and self-confidence right okay okay strength card all about love the power of love to overcome negative emotions like fear anger hatred jealousy envy bitterness mm -hmm. again you know mm -hmm. uh Obviously, you don't want to be Pollyanna, but you but you want to stay positive because positive right. attracts positive. Positive, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That mm -hmm. doesn't mean you're to, you know you're clueless, you know. Uh, but you want to just be positive, and mm -hmm. love attracts love. Okay. okay. Next card, Ace of Wands. All right, the Ace of Wands is all talking about good luck, good fortune last week in february so you might meet somebody last week in february okay now that may not be the one mm -hmm. but it may be one of the horses in the horse race okay at least and the okay. other ones that you mentioned was what for the month of may the two the one i have to make for the you'll two decisions with the guy? A, yeah you'll be making a choice so maybe there's a, there'll be another guy coming up soon just okay. telling you what these cards are saying right now right uh-huh okay? Now okay. you may there you may meet a guy through the Queen of Wands, which is an older woman. This could be an auntie or an older sister or an older girlfriend. Okay. Okay. You may meet uh, a guy through this woman. Okay. Oh, through this. Okay. He may be. I mean, again, it may not be the one. Mm -hmm. but, but at least it's one in the race. <laughs> where, where I go with this is use your social network. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I mean, you don't have to admit to your girl, I'm desperate, I got to find a girl. Oh, guy. no, I'm not really desperate. But, I'm just shopping. No, no, but, <laughs> but you can be smart. You say, well, how's your cousin Alfredo, you know? Yeah. How's, your, how's your nephew Giorgio? You know okay. what I mean? You can kind mm -hmm. of yeah. sneak it in there, plant the seed, you know what I'm saying? I'll plant it in there, yeah. Right. No, but I mean, again, you want to have social proof. Okay. Basically as a form of self-protection. Sure. Listen, I I went on computer dating 10, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I would say that out of the 10 women that I interviewed computer dating, mm -hmm. okay, and I went on coffee dates, I only ended up dating one woman. Okay. We dated for two years, but guess mm -hmm. what? We already knew each other. Oh, wow. My God. Wow, that's nice. But here's the problem with computer dating. People lie. Oh, yeah. And a, a lot of scam artists, a lot of con artists who are trying to rip, who will try and rip you up. Also, mm -hmm. a lot of married guys. Mm, bunch of liars. You can't even That's trust anybody. Different. Yeah. And so what I always say is you want proof. 
I don't. You know, I don't want proof. proof. You want to know. Mm -hmm. You want to know at least one or two people who know mm -hmm. this. That knows that person. Mm -hmm. you know? I'll and keep that in said, mind definitely. But here's mm -hmm. the deal. And if you say I don't know anybody, well, start making friends. Start connecting. Do networking, like you mentioned. Network with other people. And I would mm -hmm. say the safest thing is network with women. Right. Okay. You know, and the other thing is don't date at work. Okay. That'll do that. That's another. Listen, I get calls. You know, I you know I do this professionally, and mm -hmm. I get probably ten calls a day. Mm -hmm. And meeting somebody at work and computer dating are the number one reasons for a love disaster. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I get at least once a week. Mm -hmm. I was married, long distance. And then she found out he was married and mm -hmm. it was all a scam. Okay? That's disappointing. Mm -hmm. All right. So, again, that's why you want evidence. You want proof. I want proof, exactly. Mm -hmm. I have a client. She's a private eye. She lives in Los Angeles. She runs a service. Mm -hmm. She'll even go to the guy's house and check out the garbage. Oh, wow. She does a background <laughs> check. She does all that stuff. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the next best thing mm -hmm. is to, uh, you know, uh, the next best thing is just uh, that you have mutual friends. Right. You know, you have mm -hmm. mutual friends who say, yeah, he's a gent, you know, he was married or he had a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. they broke yeah, up, I want, he, it. I want know, to wonder. He, mm -hmm. he wasn't a pig, you know, he was okay. You want mm -hmm. to be able to verify the guy's story. The story, mm -hmm. to see if it's true. Right, exactly. So that's mm -hmm. what the to date okay. groups. Okay. And you want to meet his friends. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know, and, and again, if his friends are all weirdos, then that should tell you. He's a weirdo too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I understand. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. So it looks good. And like I said, I think by May you're gonna have that quality problem. You're gonna to have to choose between two horses. Two horses, okay. <laughs> Best man win, right? That's true. I agree. And next week is my birthday. Wednesday is my birthday. There you go. Congratulations. So okay. let's see how that turns out. Thank you so awesome. much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Hi, Rana. How are you? Welcome. Take care. Bye. Good. How are you? Thank you. Okay, Rana. So let's shuffle the cards. Okay. Sure. And let's shuffle the cards. Sending your thoughts and feelings. Hopes and dreams, concerns and challenges to the cards about love. All right. So are you shopping for love or are you uh, in a relationship? In a relationship. So you want about the relationship. Okay, let's shuffle the cards. Yes. Any your thoughts and feelings to the cards about your love relationship? Relationship. When you feel the cards are ready, say ready. Ready. All right, guiding my right hand as I cut the cards once, twice, three times. Let's pull nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, kind of interesting set of cards. Okay. All right. All righty. So first card that came out, okay. Strength card, mm -hmm. it's all about the power of love, overcoming mm -hmm. negative emotion like fear, anger, hatred, jealousy, bitterness, and envy. You get more with mm -hmm. sugar and honey and a smile than you do with vinegar and a frown. <laughs> now, that doesn't mean you be a doormat. You can still be strong, mm -hmm. but just mm -hmm. be strong with a smile. Got it. You can still get what, have you ever noticed that the strongest person in the room usually says the least and usually is yeah. smiling and it's the weak yeah. people who are kind of screaming and shouting and jumping up and down. Yes. So again, you can be <laughs> strong. You can still get what you want, but just do it mm -hmm. with a smile. Okay. And do it with love and compassion. It doesn't yeah. mean you have to be a doormat or weak. But it's just mm -hmm. easier to do it with a smile, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So now let's see what else is there. Okay. Ace of Wands, good luck, good fortune in love last week in February. So things are going to mm -hmm. get better in February. Mm -hmm. All right. Now there has been some disappointments. Is that correct? There, there's been something in mm -hmm. the that's caused a little problem. Is that correct? Mm, kind of, yeah. I mean, are you guys still together? Yes. Okay. Now, I think, were you on when we did Ho'oponopono? The, uh, the exercise, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I forgive you. I forgive myself. Thank you. I love you. Were, were you, did, were you uh, the beginning? No, I mean, that is something in the past. It's all okay. good now. Okay. Because where I'm going with this is it's normal for couples to have arguments, discussions. It's normal. Okay. It's normal business, but the, the skill successful couples learn how to negotiate or argue safely. Mm -hmm. You understand? In other words, yeah. you know, in a relationship between two human beings, you have to negotiate, you have to discuss, mm -hmm. you have to argue. It's normal. Successful couples learn how to argue and get what they want without destroying the relationship, without destroying the love. Okay? I agree. Mm -hmm. and, and that's an important, that's a skill. You have to learn that, you know? So that's what that's saying. And again, the exercise that I recommend is mm -hmm. the Ho'oponopono, which you'll receive. I'll send you after the read, after tonight, I'll send you mm -hmm. uh, the Love Boat Relationship First Aid Kit. And there is a, a video called Ho'oponopono, which is very good for helping relationships. Okay. Thank you. All right. Again, uh, seven of uh, wands, you have to be strong in that relationship. Is that correct? You have to stand up for yourself and be strong, don't you? Uh, I mean, in what sense? Well, I mean, you have to stand I, will, up I always try to be strong, but. It's not that I kind of have to, Right. But I feel very respected. So it's not that I have to really, you know, be okay. in a I'm just saying, or, don't, yeah. don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. Obviously you yeah. have to be diplomatic. Uh, you're, a, you're a big girl. You know that a woman can get anything she wants from a man as long as she does it in the right <laughs> way, right? You know when to ask your man for something, right? You know that there's a way to exactly. do it. Exactly. All right. Yeah. All right. So that's what that's saying. Be strong. Don't be afraid to be strong in the relationship. Now, interesting. Mm -hmm. King and Queen of Cups means an older mm -hmm. couple. Now, I don't know if that's your mother and father or his mother and father. Mm -hmm. uh, are your parents have an influence on the relationship or does his family have an influence on the relationship? Uh, not really. Because it's kind of we interesting. Live pretty, we, we live far from our family, so we're pretty, you know. Independent? It's just us. Yeah, pretty independent, yes. Well, uh, this could be you. I mean, this could also be you, but this usually means a... People over 40, older people. Are you over 40? No, no, I'm in my 30s. Okay, so this could be an older couple who has an influence on the relationship. Not, not necessarily negative, but it's kind of interesting. So again, these are good people. These are not bad people, but they have an mm -hmm. influence. Again, maybe, I mean, maybe it's, a, it's a, a message from the cards. Have you spoken to your parents recently? Uh do you communicate with them or are you kind of? Yeah, I, I kind of talk almost every two days, every three days. Yeah. Okay. Well, something about an older, an older couple. I'm not sure what that means. I'd have to. That's we'd have interesting. To go to a, okay. We'd have to go to a private reading. But uh, again, uh, cards are positive. Watch your health. Okay. Uh -huh. Take good care of your health. Are you. Uh, do you have children? Yeah, that's a good know? one. <laughs> I need to go to the gym. <laughs> okay. No, I don't have children. Are you planning children or? Not for now. Okay. But this is saying keep an eye on your health. 
Okay, this is a good card, Aquarius. And it's saying, take good care of your health, watch after your health. Okay. Mm-hmm. But it also means, uh, you know, uh, especially with COVID, you know, be careful, protect yourself, wear a mask, all that good mm-hmm. stuff. But also, you know, regular health, see a doc, you know, a checkup, and maybe as you said, mm-hmm. exercise, go to a gym. Okay. Mm-hmm. And again, as I said, good luck, good fortune coming to you last week in, uh, in, in February. Okay. So all in all, pretty good cards. And like I said, it's all about, I think it's the love, Mm -hmm. loving and compassionate, but also being strong and learning and, you know, being a diplomat, being a bit of a politician, right? Mm -hmm. You know, to get what you need, get what you want. That okay. works. That works. <laughs> Thank you very <laughs> You're a big girl. Thank you know. You. What okay, so we're gonna do okay, one last tap, tapping routine. Like I said, I'll be sending everybody the love boat relationship first aid kit. Okay. And uh so we'll be doing the uh what I call the abundance tap, which is really good for relationships as well. Uh and it's all about manifesting love and happiness. So that'll be our last tap. So did everybody get a reading? I, I did your cards too, Debbie, right? Awesome. So we'll be back again next uh, next Wednesday. But also, if you're interested, Sunday night, uh, we have a at 9 o'clock Eastern, we have a workshop on money and career and, and work, okay, and abundance. But let's just end this one with the abundance tap, just repeat after me while tapping. Okay, just say, uh, even though the universe, even though the universe has been allowing me to manifest some abundance in my life, I choose to allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. So even though I have been allowing the universe to manifest some abundance in my life, today I set a firm intention to allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Okay, one more time. So even though I have been allowing the universe to manifest some abundance in my life, today I set a firm intention to allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Okay, let's go top of the head. Today I set a firm intention to allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. Okay, eyebrows, even more abundance of love. Side corner of the eye, even more abundance of happiness. For the eye, even more abundance of good health. Nose, even more abundance of prosperity. Mouth, even more abundance of creativity. Collarbone, even more abundance of good friends. And under the arm, even more abundance of all the good things I really need. Okay, now karate chop. So today I set a firm intention, top of the head, to allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. Okay, eyebrow, even more abundance of love. Even more abundance of happiness. They are even more abundance of good health. You know, it's even more abundance of prosperity. Under the mouth, even more abundance of creativity. About even more abundance of good friends under the arm, even more abundance of all the good things I really need. 
So today, I set a firm intention, top of the head, to allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. Eyebrow, even more abundance of love. Even more abundance of happiness. Even more abundance of good health. Under the nose, even more abundance of prosperity. Mouth, even more abundance of creativity. Collarbone, even more abundance of good friends. The arm, even more abundance of all the good things I really need. You know, karate chop. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Okay, let's all take a deep breath, and I'll release. Okay, guys, thank you. It's been a wonderful workshop. I love having you. Namaste. Blessing. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah. I'll be on. I'll be again next Wednesday night at nine, but also Sunday night. It's all about money. So I'll see you Sunday night if you if you're interested. Blessings. Thanks. Love you. Love Thanks. you. Thank you. Bye.